Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Scarender. And today we got ourselves a match against Titan Atlas. So yeah, as you guys know, this is a guy I do battle from time to time. He's a very, very good battler, I have a lot of fun battling just him. And uh, yeah, basically, Amora was released now with the snowboarding ability, so I really want to use a team with that inbound. So um, this team was actually working really well here and yeah, I'm gonna go into in-depth what it's all about and this match itself was really cool so that's why I had to upload this one. So anyway look at my opponent's team here, I got a good coverage going with both, um, what's it called, Rapidash, Meganium, Dusclops, Regiize, Blitzel and uh, Rhyperior and of course Severus Strike, not Blitzel. So I do suspect uh, Severus Strike to be Sap Zipper. Right, of course, walling everything that is weak to the uh, Rapid Dash, which probably had a Flash Fire to wall up Meganium's Fire Weakness and Radii's Fire Weakness. I myself is using Flash Fire's Hyplosion, Glaceon, War Turtle, Valplum, Cloud 9, Licky Licky, and uh, Snow Warning Aurorus. So basically, Aurorus is just a uh, set upper with both the um, Hail and uh, Stealth Rocks, and basically Cloud9 Lick Lick is only there to uh, wall things out when the Blizzard or Hail isn't helping me out, and Glaceon is a sweeper who loves the Hail and has nobody left over and protect to kind of bulk itself up. So, you know, you know what? I'm not going to explain anymore. Let's actually go straight ahead to the battle. So, from the get go, I had a feeling that he could start with Rhydon, and if so, then my Type Lotion is going to do wonders due to the Power Herb Solar Beam. I wasn't sure if he knew about this set or not, but you know, I had that feeling I couldn't take any chances, so I just went for Solar Wind straight on ahead, and luckily for me, he does stay in here, and this will actually take out the right on turn 1. So, yeah, that was actually kinda cool, and um, yeah, major <laughs> momentum on my side, obviously. Right on may not be like the biggest threat to this team, but the thing that kinda stands out is, of course, that it can set up self rock which I don't have to worry about anymore. So anyway, uh, um, Zero Strike is here, and I knew he's gonna go for a Volt Switch, probably into his Rapid Dash. I just went for Hidden Power Ground, and uh, yeah, that is exactly what happens. He probably predicted me to go for Fire Move, but I'm not gonna risk that. I'm just gonna go straight on at it and just go for the Hidden Power Ground there, which takes it down quite a lot. So I do expect him to go for a Wild Charge because I do pack the Flash Fire after all. And Jim Moxie, my Lickly seems to be the obvious choice. And really here, I was, well, a bit unlucky here that even though I have Rocky Helmet and uh, I was thinking that in combination with that, this would kill him because of my high HP. But no, he survives with a slither of health and gonna bring the Dusclops. And Dusclops is a major threat because it does wall a lot of things on my team. Honestly, it walls so much things on my team that it's not even funny. So I decided to set up a wish, and basically, I was hoping that he was gonna go for uh, the Will O Wisp here, and uh, yeah, he has no idea what he has set in motion. And of course, the wish is gonna come in, and I am back to full health, baby. But sadly, I do over prediction here. I went for Hidden Power instead of Eruption because, well, he still had a Shadow Facts, and um, there was no way I could play around that. Even if I went for Rupture, it actually would not have worked in my favor because I would have done so much damage on him that the Pain Split would just have destroyed me, really. So Rupture this time does, is a 150 base instead of 200, and of course it's not as powerful. And um, judging from how it's going here, it feels like Pain Split is the way to go. So I'm just gonna bring back my Lick Licky or Moxie. Just basically, uh, since I already lost some HP, I felt that it's probably some of my best interest to play something like this. And it didn't hurt as much as an attack would have done. So it's gonna retrieve the quantum, uh, obviously feeling that a knockoff is coming, you know, that I'm gonna stay to stay. And um, yeah, he's gonna stack off the Shadow Facts. And that works really well in my favor. Shadow Facts is the only thing like, that completely walls out uh, my um, Type Lotion. So Sapodash is gonna come in, and I'm just thinking that, you know, I can take a Bolt Switch, no doubt about it, and then retaliate with the Wish. He's going for Thunderbolt, and he scores a crit here, which it is unfortunate. I did some calcs on this, and it is in the range of taking him out anyway, so it may actually not have matter due to the power there, so it's actually kind of fine. Uh, so anyway, I knew I can kind of thread him out to his red eyes here, so I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. Because honestly, 
Stealth Rocks helps me a lot if I get that up. So here is the Sub-Zero or Red Eyes. I did predict right here and uh, yeah, I wasn't too sure on whether or not he would go for Flash Cannon straight ahead or if he even packed that or just had a Thunder Wave move or a Thunder Bolt really. But better yet, he has the Rock Polish and I do counter that with a Thunder Wave on the same turn. Which means that his Rock Polish is nerfed. And that is awesome. I definitely did not expect that, to be honest. So I'm just going to switch out there thinking that, alright, he's going to start attacking. And um, I have nothing for this. And I'm getting a feeling that it's a weakness policy set because of uh, our previous match with his uh, uh, Reggie Rock, which had a weakness policy. So I'm just going for Blister, just scouting damage, really. And he shows me the Flash Cannon, and it does a lot of damage. It really do. And um, at this point, I was thinking, alright... I should be able to wall myself up with a little bit of HP and hopefully he's not fully paralyzed to the turn I decide to uh, retaliate. And the way I designed this game, what's it called? Glazion was that it is better off with Mirror Coat because it's not going to take any physical damage whatsoever. It is not even worth thinking about, but bulk it up with special defense and force the opponent to do a special defensive move on it and you can retaliate with the Mirror Coat. And I'll say... It works really well, he wasn't fully paralyzed this time, which means I get to retaliate with the mirror code, which actually takes him out because of the massive damage it did to me. So that was like 140 HP back on him, so that was a great <laughs> contrast to what I was going with. So he's gonna bring his Rapid Ash yet again, or Sappy Dash, really really good name honestly. And I'm just gonna go for Protect, scouting out what he wanna do, and um, he's going to actually go for a Volt Switch, which is... A okay with me, honestly, because that means I can bring back my Auroras. And Auroras is specially defensive, like really, really specially defensive. And uh, I know I can kind of take that and then retaliate. So that is obviously exactly what I'm gonna do. So, the, yeah, the, of course, the hail is back on. And uh, yeah, I, I must say, I really like this set. I really like, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, weather conditions in the lower tiers, they are just so powerful, even though Haley is definitely the weakest one, if anything. So he's gonna bring his Quantum here, and um, I'm actually gonna do a risky move here, because I feel like Pain Split seems to be the obvious choice here from him, and uh, I was actually judging whether or not I should go for a Thunder Wave or not, but honestly, due to the amount of HP I have, I decided to actually switch out to Glaceon, because Glaceon can take a Nightshade, but if he goes for a pain split, then my Grok or um, Glaceon is back on track. And he does go for the pain split. And that is awesome because that means that with Ice Body and Leftovers, I am back. I am way back. Uh, so I'm not gonna lie, this set with Glaceon is super, super potent. Only if you pull that off, that is. Like I said, the Mirror Code really, really helps it kind of wall things that it isn't supposed to wall out. And Blizzard is just a massive move in the, obviously the condition that is hailed due to be 100% accuracy and whatnot. And plus, due to the Ice Body Left Row combination, we basically got a um, Poison Heal combination at 1 8 coming back to me, like 12% is being recovered each turn. So he's gonna go back to his Severus Strike. This thing really, really puts me in a bad spot because I can't outspeed it, and it does so much damage on anything on my team. So I'm just gonna go for. Uh, protect here because that is a superior mood to really just find out what it's all about and uh, Yeah, obviously going for overheat means that I can actually bring my Hyplosion now Which of course gonna eat that up like Really really eat that up with a flash fire and boost attack of a fire moves and uh, Yeah, I'll say that's superior choice um, I have been like in the middle when it comes to whether or not I should use this set or not but it comes down to this that the special set Toplosion is just that much more powerful, and with the Power Herb Solar Beam, it just it is on par with everything that can kind of friend it out in this tier. So it's super, super, super potent. And poor Meganium here is gonna get one shot, of course. I really felt bad here. So his last Pokemon is the Rapid Dash, or no, Sappy Dash. And Jim. basically, there is nothing I want to do with my Toplosion. I really feel that. It done enough. I want to see my Auroras finish off this game, and I gotta bring it back to take another what I thought what could have been a Volt Switch. Of course, it's gonna go for Strong Brew, which is the Thunderbolt because I do not have any Ground types on this team anyway. 
So the first Thunderbolt is coming, and I take this, you know, I'm not going to say surprisingly well, but you take it, like like a champ, really. And he's going to be buffed by the hail, and then I'm going to go for another round of Thunder. And um, he getting closer, he surely does here, because he do manage to score a crit here, but it is still not enough to kill the mighty, powerful Auroras, who's just going to finish off this fight with a powerful Blizzard, really, you know, melting in with the weather conditions that's going to be so powerful that the Zepidash, the Silver Strike, is gonna fall down. So that was a one hell of a battle, and I'm so glad I got to showcase like my main idea with the Ice Team, and it's working really well. I'm super glad that it's actually hold up this well. I thought it would falter really well, hard to be honest. So GG Richard, this was definitely one of the coolest battles I had in some time. So yeah, um, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I had a lot of momentum in this battle. I should say this though, last time we battled, his range was actually 6 so me due to his weakness policy set, which was just awesome. It really put me in, uh, in a bad spot. So I get my semi-revenge on him, so kind of glad about that. But to be honest here, uh, he definitely pulled a good game here. And I did a lot of risky plays that actually turned out to be, uh, end up in my favor. Had I not done him, I wonder how this battle truly would have turned out. And even so, I think that, you know, he did all the stuff one player should do against a battle like this. Um, so yeah, if you want to see, like, my thought process with Ice Team, I can do a video about that and, you know, potential um, potential teammates for Aurora's and Glaceon. But those two are definitely like, the prime suspect for, like, powerful Ice Team. And uh, together with that, I do recommend everything with either... Overcode or uh, Cloud9. Cloud9 is probably one of the better abilities due to nothing really benefits from the ice besides the ice Pokemon itself. So it can be good if you don't want residual damage. But like I said, I will do a video about that if you guys so desire, and I'll you know I'll make that happen. Uh, so anyway, guys, I really hope you like this battle. If you did just that, make sure to leave that a like. And if you're new to the channel, what's up? And also, the sky's limit, guys. Have a good day and take care. All right, bye.